The Army is introducing a new physical fitness test. So the U.S. Army, in their infinite wisdom, decides to create a new physical fitness test that nobody can pass. Let's go. Consists of six events that are based on tasks a soldier might encounter in training or combat. So in the change, the Army says the PFT scores won't count until 2022. Let's take a look. So they just devised this new PT test, which we'll look into more in this video. But the bottom line is they come up with some test and they decided that we're going to suspend it. You know, they tie in COVID, but people are failing the test. If you look at this article, rather than have the new evaluation test take effective like it should now, they've been training for it, the test that they devised... We're going to decide to put it off till 2022. Let's look at some of this stuff. Once the soldiers begin testing the maximum deadlift, the NCOIC positions themselves outside of lane one. After completing the maximum deadlift, the grader returns the scorecard to each soldier and directs them to the NCOIC. So I'll bore you with the thing, but they got a deadlift. So part one is a deadlift and they run back and forth. All right, that makes sense in training, but for a physical fitness test, no, I don't get it. You're just trying to make sure someone's fit enough to stay in the military. That's the point of the test. This is training. Let's keep going. The event is a test of explosive power and coordination in the legs and arms. Soldiers are required to throw a 10 pound ball up and backwards over the head for maximum distance. All right, you get the gist of that one. So they're doing some kind of strongman shit which I could see being good training again, but not of PFT, because how do you set the bar on this? How do you say, this is the standard? Do you take 100 guys, 100 women? Uh, the standard's supposed to be across the board, men and women, I, the way I get it, right? So a man's tested on the same bar as a woman, which is not going to work. So right off the bat, unless you're competing against each other, how this sets a bar, like I don't know what the average was. How do they come up with this in their infinite wisdom? It tests endurance in the muscles of the shoulders, arms, and trunk. The number of successfully completed repetitions is counted over a two-minute period. The event is similar to hand and arm movements required in combatives or repetitive loading of ammunition and supplies. Graders call. All right, so we get that one. You're doing push-ups, right? So nothing new under the sun. I don't know why they have to go to their chest and spread their arms out, whatever. I don't think that makes any difference, but push-ups... All right, fine, they didn't screw it up too much. Let's look at the next test. The event is timed and tests the soldier's movement skill under anaerobic conditions. Sprinting, dragging, carrying, turning, and moving sideways. Soldiers complete five laps of a 25 meter lane for a total distance of 250 meters. All right, well, I mean, it looks like, again, good training, right? It looks like it'd be something good, but people can't pass it. So right off the bat, you go, who devised this idea? Like somewhere higher up somewhere, they're sitting on their throne looking down at the surf saying, we're going to create a test that my rock star athlete pet studs can do, but the average Joe can't do. Instead of kicking people out, which they're probably going to have to do if they kept failing it, they decide, whoa, 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 pull back the reins a little bit. They got rid of the shark tank. Take a look at that video in the description. But now they're making this complex PFT test that no one can pass. And they've been working on it. You know, Angry Cops did a video on this. They've been working on trying to get this thing where people can do it, right? But they can't. So now what? They're not going to go back on their new test because they look like a-holes. So now what? Let's look at the next test they've got in mind. Maybe they've got something that makes sense. The leg tuck is the fifth event. It develops upper body, abdominal, and hip strength. Now, this is the one I understand that people are failing left and right. So... This would replace, I guess, sit-ups or crunches or something. Love the idea of the exercise. If I wasn't an old guy, I'd probably do it just for to get into shape. Now, let's look at it right off the bat. you got to hold the bar, so you got to have grip strength. Makes a lot of sense, but some people can do lots of sit-ups with no grip strength. What if it's a lady who's not capable of doing it? Let's take a look at this crap. From a straight arm hang, soldiers must raise their legs up so their knees or thighs touch their elbows. Soldiers are scored on the number of successfully completed repetitions. There is no time limit. Soldiers stop when they are unable to continue. 
This event replicates climbing up and over walls, obstacles. I hate these stupid announcers, but I think it's a great exercise. I think it's going to be tough for a lot of people because now we're doing a pull-up with a crunch, and it's kind of a unique pull-up. It's mostly forearms. You know, you bodybuilders or exercise freaks in the audience tell me this looks like it'd be something to be great to do to get into shape, and it probably matters if you could do this. But how are you going to grade people? Because a PFT, the whole point of it is, right, make sure you're in shape enough once in a while. So twice a year you do it, once a year, whatever the case may be. Hey, you're in shape enough to meet the standard to stay in. Let's look what else they got going here that people cannot pass. The two mile run is the sixth event. The event tests aerobic capacity. This event replicates movements to and from contact. All right, so they kept the run. So out of this bunch of exercises, they kept the push-ups and the run. They kind of kept the pull-ups in this new event, right? So you can measure the run. They got to fair test. Push-ups, fine. Now, the other ones are just so janky that I don't know how you're ever going to determine what the standard is. If you want to change things up, mess it up, make it a sprint run or make a 100-yard sprint in a two-mile run. You really want guys in shape. The problem is, let's think about this. Let's say you've been to three, four tours in Afghanistan and Iraq, but you can't pass the PFT, the new one. You kick the guy out, he's capable of doing the job, but yet this PFT says, no, he's not good enough. Raiders record total run time when the soldier completes the two mile run. The grader checks and verifies all the scores are correct and legible on the scorecard. Graders present the scorecards to their four soldiers. Both the grader and the soldier sign the scorecard to validate the ACFT scores were recorded correctly. All right, that's enough of that. They've made something that's pretty simple, complicated. You know, they dump the shark attack because it's too mean. Then they decide we're going to up the PFT for some reason. Now, every unit trains like this, or they train like this in boot camp, great. But again, I just don't know how they come up with the standard of how far you're supposed to throw the medicine ball, or how much you're supposed to deadlift. Let's just say you can do everything in your job, but you got a bad back. Deadlifting's terrible for it. So you guys that are in the Army, tell me what you think of the new PFT. For you guys that aren't, you think it's a good idea and a good measuring stick for young soldiers to determine... Hey, are you the top first class PFT or the third class? And how you fit in to do your job in the military? What do you do with the guys that got three or four tours but fail this? Do you kick them out? Are they unsat for the Army? I'll see you in the next video up here.